I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're speaking with an inspiring author. Her name is Monina Bona Ali, and she has written an inspiring book as well. It is called Receiving the Healing Gift in MS, My Journey from Separation to Union After a Diagnosis of Multiple Sclerosis. In this very inspiring book, the author shares her personal journey of transformation following her diagnosis back in 2007. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank our team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put her in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like her by subscribing to our channel, and by purchasing her wonderful book. The links are below this interview. Monina, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me so much, Logan. My pleasure. I think I said inspiring three times during my introduction to you. But inspiration is the right word. Um, as we were talking before the interview, we all have challenges. We all have crosses to bear. Um, and it's how we deal with that cross that makes all the difference in the world. And you call this book Receiving the Healing Gift in MS. What is that healing gift? Tell me about that. A gift very badly wrapped, wrapped, wrapped. But a gift nonetheless. Yeah. Took me like many, many years to unwrap it. Mm -hmm. The gift, gift was me. I was the gift. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because you're still yourself. Despite yeah. your illness, you're still Monina. Even more. I, guess yeah. I have to admit, yes, even more. For yeah. sure. Yeah. And you also write in the title, again, let's just stick with that for a second. My, my journey from separation to union. What do you mean by that? Well, life is not separate from me. It's all around me. It's, mm -hmm. I breathe her in every, every, every breath. I'm united with her. So mm -hmm. we're united to United. So There's it's no been a connection for you to the, to the universe. Exactly. This diagnosis, where exactly. you no longer feel apart from it, but yeah. you're part of it. Yeah. Yes, That's yes, wonderful. I belong. Great. That's yes. wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. How have you found... Um, the strength to deal with this? I mean, you've been diagnosed now for quite a number of years. Um, how's your health? Um, I imagine your attitude um, impacts that as well, right? Totally. Where the, from the strength? Good question. I wonder, it's a good question. I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> hmm. Well, I would imagine your your mental well being, the fact that you stay positive, you stay energetic, you stay connected, is something that keeps you going, like in this race that we call life, right? Yes, I learned that, that being positive is a choice. I can make every moment. It's a choice we all have. Absolutely, absolutely. And you live in Montreal now. Have you lived in Canada your whole life? No, I live in Africa when I was little. Mm -hmm. For 10 years. Oh, okay. Okay. And then your family emigrated to Canada. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. And as they're renowned for having a good healthcare system, has that been helpful to you as well, having dealing with uh, an illness like this? Of course, there's great support in Canada. We're so fortunate to be here. Of course. But there's always more than this. Yeah. Absolutely. In your book, you also talk about listening to the wisdom of your divine body. Tell yes, us about that. Exactly. What do you mean? Exactly. Thank you for your question. Sure. <laughs> hmm. This body knows. This body is intelligent. Yeah. Its symptoms, like MS, is a message for me to understand. It took me years to understand it. Yeah. But it's a message. The body is not broken. And it, it needs something. So. Absolutely. So you listen to your body. Much more now. Just like we talked about the connection. It's kind of. The yes. Same. Yes. How important is faith to you when it comes to dealing with your illness? Ultimate. <laughs> Ultimate. Faith is everything. It's against the choice. Fear of faith. It's my choice. Yeah. It's just, I make every moment. I can make again and again. Yeah. And then the again and again and again. When you first got the diagnosis, what was your reaction? Were you angry? Were you sad? Were you, um, did you deny it? Did you feel like it's got to be wrong? 
Absolutely, all of them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because you, when you get sick, you can't believe it's happening to you. No, I to mean, me, it, like yeah. I said, every one of us deals with some kind of health issue. Yeah. You can't believe, you know, you've yeah. had this. Or me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing. What was it like for you writing this book? Tell me when you decided to write it, how long it took you to write it, and uh, what that journey was like. Well, most of all, it made me realize that we are all always gathered, all of us mm. gathered. Right. That was a big thing for me to realize this by writing in my story. Mm. This gathered began when I was born. It is continuing. You know, I think it is going to continue until I don't die. Right? right. It's always here. It without every breath. I was even say. Mm. Yeah. What um? What do you hope readers take away from your story? Well, so many things. One comes to mind is I want everybody to know that how much we are loved by life, how much she loves us is no words. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. What kind of things do you do to keep yourself healthy despite your illness? Are you careful oh. of the foods you eat? Do you try yes. to get some exercise? I get all the other uh, food super important. When mm -hmm. I eat, I feel calm. So it's important mm -hmm. what I put in here most of the time. Moderation, mm -hmm. always, yes. Even mm -hmm. moderation. Yeah. Exercise, for sure. Relaxation is the utmost important. Relaxation, meditation, breath work, yoga, body work, all very, very important. All Absolutely. Of them. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And what about your support network? Do you have some friends or family who help you out? Yes, I'm very lucky. Yes, I do. I found many people to help me with this journey, to overcome this journey, to become myself in this journey. Mm -hmm. Precious guide, mentor, a lot of them, a lot of them, yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. We're glad about that. Mm -hmm. Was this the first book you've ever written? Yes, yes, yes. Did you enjoy writing it? I did. Like I said, it made me a write like, of the constant guidance available for all of us. Mm. So I'm not alone. We're not alone in this journey. Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now that you've written one book, are you thinking about writing any other books? I, I am. I am. Tell us about that. Thank you. My new passion is harmony. Mm. So I want to write about that. Great. Right. When it's you say harmony, you're talking about like peace in the world, peace among people. No, just a sure, but first it begins with, begins with us, mm. in us. Harmony, the yin and the yang. Yes. Yes. This, I get aware of, 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 of this harmony with, with this journey. Yeah. Exactly. Being balanced within yourself. Yes. Having peace and harmony within yourself. Yes, yes, exactly. Well, yeah. you mentioned yoga. That must bring a lot of peace and comfort to you, as yes, well as yes. helping with your strength because you do a lot of stretching in yoga, right? Yes. Yes, a lot of body working, stretching, a lot of meditation also because I do Kundalini yoga, mm -hmm. chanting, mantras. Yeah. Yeah. Udras. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I love well, it. It's my passion too. That's <laughs> good. That's good. Well, it's good to have activities. It's good to have passions. It's good to have hobbies. All of that is very, very helpful. And now you've got a new passion as well, which is writing, which is great too. When you finished the book, when you wrote this book, who was the first person you gave the book to and said, hey, take a look, what do you think? My dad. Your dad, okay, great. <laughs> and what did your dad say? He's like, whoa, great. No, and give me some suggestion. He was proud of me. He was proud of her. his daughter. Right, her. Yeah. wonderful. Very wonderful. grateful for him, yeah. That's great, that's great. I imagine you and your dad are very, very close. He, he's yes. part of the... When we talked about your family helping you, I guess he's been a big help. Yes, my mother, father, sister, yes. They're yeah. very important, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. How old were you when you got your diagnosis? 27, 8, 28. Yeah, which is kind of normal. It happens sometimes yes. in... Uh, Pretty, the average, yes. Yeah, yeah, late 20s, early 30s. Yes, you know. yes, yes. And what were your first symptoms? It was half my body paralyzed, left side paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Amazing. 
Yeah. You just woke up one morning like that? No, I was actually uh, away with my, my family and mm -hmm. it happened in a few hours. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Did anybody else in your family have it? Is it, it... Sure, my sister has it too. Okay. It's a family thing. So yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. So I fear yeah. for all the people that went to go through that. I know it's very painful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, your sister's lucky she has you, and you're lucky you have her. I imagine exactly, to exactly. Each other. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, Monita Buona Ali has written a wonderful book. It's called "Receiving the Healing Gift in MS: My Journey from Separation to Union After a Diagnosis of MS, Multiple Sclerosis." It is an inspiring book, and she shares her personal journey of transformation following her diagnosis back in. 2007. Her story is one of self-discovery, embracing change, and seeking healing from within. She explores the concept of healing as a multifaceted process involving acceptance, interchange, and forgiveness with partnership with the universe. It's a beautiful book. It's an inspiring book. We all have struggles in this life. We all have challenges in this life. We all have crosses to bear. This will help you with yours. Monina, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much, Logan. My pleasure, my pleasure. God bless you, and may you have a wonderful 2024. Mm, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, on Spotlight.